guys welcome back to my channel my name is ebony and i make videos on fashion and styling so if you're into that kind of thing then you should definitely definitely stick around Oops. i have my space heater on for my feet <laughs> but anyway yes welcome back i have been gone for a minute i know i kind of explained to you guys what's going on um, in my last video and i have been on vacation since then I got sick, I'm not supposed to say it. not the thing that's going around, but I just got a cold. Who knew that you could just get a regular cold these days? Um, but I'm so happy that's all I got, especially with going on vacation. I had a great, great time. It was my first time out of the country, so that was really exciting. But I'm so excited to be back with some fall content for you guys. Today's video is going to be a Cezanne inspired thrift haul. Now I've done a couple of these based on designer brands. So I figured I could expand into a store that I'm always looking at their site, but I never really buy anything just because it's a little out of my price range and actually a lot of the stuff to me is inspired by like thrift and vintage finds so I figured it would be a good brand to choose to do an inspired by a thrift haul. Um, let me know down below if you guys like this brand too from what you see of it online. But anyway, so I also wanted to do this Cezanne inspired thrift haul. I've included, I think I have like 10 outfits that will be good for like pre-fall, early fall, and even some that will be good for just fall in general. We are getting rolling with the fall videos. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, what I got, explain to you a few of the key details to look for if you're trying to get that Cezanne look, but thrifting, um, and I have, I'll have a few little trend alerts sprinkled in there because some of these outfits do include some of 2022's fall trends, and let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing, if you're trying to get the Cezanne look and you're um, unsure, the first thing, and I think the base of that brand is classic, right? Because it's very Parisian and Parisian style is really rooted in a lot of classics. But I think the USP for Cezanne is that it has vintage and feminine details and twists, so it's not completely boring. They're very like interesting, feminine and fun classics. It kind of reminds me of like, how Kate Spade is classics, but it's really bold. It's not as bold as Kate Spade, but you get the idea how it's all rooted in basic shapes, classic style, um, classic patterns. However, it will have some sort of detail that makes it a little bit more interesting. So um, when, you're, when we're talking about shapes, we wanna keep it classic, um, classic pieces, dark denim, trench coats, that kind of thing, just anything classic, button downs, all that jazz. Um, now when it comes to patterns, again, all of those classic patterns, we're going to have stripes, floral, polka dots, that's pretty much all of, in leopard print sometimes, um, especially for this season that I've seen on their website, so it's definitely really classic patterns. Um, and But what makes it interesting is the third point, which are the details. So it's going to be embellishments, fuzzy uh, textures, um, pin tucks, lace, pleats, Anything that's very girly and interesting, florals, like little rosettes, um, just chunky knits, that kind of thing. Buttons is a huge thing with Cezanne buttons. Anything with a lot of buttons down the front, skirts, jeans, um, that kind of vibe. So um, those are the things that you want to be looking for when you're thrifting. And I'm going to show you um, through the outfits and the voiceover. I'll tell you which things that I recently picked up. And I'm going to also go over why it falls into like a Cezanne-like look. So we're just going to get right into those outfits. Alrighty, so this first one is so quintessentially Cezanne with the maxi floral dress with like a vintage cut and flutter sleeves. I love this floral pattern. I added a gold belt, which I think is also very Cezanne. They have a lot of really cute colored belts, a pair of thrifted gold wedges, a thrifted bag, and then um, in order to bring in some of that texture that I always see and love from Cezanne's site, um, in a minute, I'm just going to add on this like periwinkle blue cardigan that I think definitely will bring it more into that fall, like early fall when it's a little bit chilly, but you can still get away with showing your ankles and wearing a dress, uh, but you just need something over your shoulders. So I really like how this pulls out the color in the floral pattern. And I think the textures and the gold really work. Um, for this one, 
these are two newly thrifted items the turtleneck that has the embellishments and is sleeveless i thrifted that recently as well as um, my white denim like midi knee length skirt it's from new york and company but i thrifted it my belt is thrifted and my boots are thrifted now for this one i think obviously the beading details and then adding that trench which i thrifted from ann taylor that really adds to the classic um of it all as well as the all neutral tones and of course knee-high boots are a huge trend this fall so keep a lookout for them but i really like how this turned out as well now this is definitely very saison to me just because they use a lot of trousers and then pair it with really ditzy cute little things so i have these thrifted trousers thrifted sweater and thrifted loafers also this thrifted like crocheted bag woven bag which i think is really cute um, I just really like the colors and the rosettes on this. I think are very Cezanne paired with the trousers as well as the shape of everything. It's very relaxed but still structured with the pleats. So I think that really has the classic and the feminine mix that Cezanne loves to do. And I really, really like this outfit. Can't wait to wear it. Now, this sweater is another one of my recent thrift finds, and you cannot tell me that I didn't actually buy this from Cezanne. It is vintage, but doesn't it look like it would be on their website right now from the color to the buttons to the material to the crochet little detail around the collar down to even like the way the sleeves are, like the blues on sleeves, like it's crazy. Um, another trend are clogs. I've had these for so long, these wedges. They are from Jeffrey Campbell, thrifted jeans, thrifted bag and thrifted belt but i think this color and this sweater says it all when it comes to saison um it just with that fuzzy texture and the feminine details like i said of like the puckering at the sleeves and the crochet around the neckline and the collar i think that really adds to it as well as this dark denim which is our vintage from the 70s so everything in this look is thrifted none of it recent i've had all this stuff for a while except for the shoes but i think those shoes really add to the parisian they kind of look like those chanel slingbacks so that makes it pretty saison as well as the fuzzy sweater and the beading even the colors i feel like are very saison now, one could not make a video on how to thrift Cezanne-like items without <laughs> including something with buttons all the way down the front. So I have this thrifted dress with a thrifted belt, thrifted boots that are from PCBG Girl, and a thrifted bag. I have worn this, I'm pretty sure, on my channel before, and this is what I wore when I went to Fashion Week a few years ago. Um, I just love this. The material's so fall, and of course, like I said, those buttons are so Cezanne. Now, this is a direct inspiration from something I saw on their website recently. Recently, they did a lot of this emerald green color and leopard. I'll probably flash some pictures for you guys soon. Um, but yeah, so everything in this is thrifted. My boots are Ralph Lauren collection. They are my favorite boots. You're going to see them so much now that it falls coming up. But I think this shape of jacket, the boxier shape, as well as the pattern. Um, this is actually, this jacket's actually textured too, so it's fuzzy. So again, that's another one of those um uh, elements of Cezanne and then I have this recently thrifted little beaded bag that I think is very Cezanne because of the uh, vintage look of it and it is actually vintage now right in here I'm showing you guys this pair of chocolate brown suede cargo skinny pants that I thrifted for $12 they are from Polo Ralph Lauren and I looked them up online. Originally, they were like $1,200. I got them for $12 at the thrift store. It's so crazy. Uh, cargo pants are also a trend. More of the baggy ones and low-waisted, but you know, you're not going to see that here on my channel. So this is my way of styling the cargo trend. And again, I think because the suede and the fuzzy of this sweater is very Cezanne. Um, now, this look is also very Cezanne to me because of these kitten heel mules. Like, what's Parisian chic if not kitten heel mules? Um kitten heel mules as well as a dark denim that i got from everlane and a thrifted button-up top with um the little pucker details on the sleeves which i think make it very saison and my vintage gucci bag i think that this is so like when you're going for the saison look i think this encapsulates a lot of the different elements from the dark denim to the vintage details and then the shoes so i think this is a good base to go for if you're trying to get that look And 
And lastly, we have this look. So you can't do a Cezanne look without stripes. And I noticed they do a lot of denim on denim as well. And even like cowboy inspired boots. It's very like Isabel Marant, very Parisian chic. Um, but anywho, um, this is a look that I definitely would probably wear if I was going to like a Paris Fashion Week or something. Because I think it's really cool and trendy, but still pretty classic with the stripes and the light denim. Um, the vest is a vintage Liz Claiborne. Um, my stripe top is Ann Taylor, but thrifted. My skirt is from Sue that I got on the real real and then I have a pair of thrifted black cowboy boots and a thrifted chainmail bag um, I really like this look and I think it definitely gives off the Cezanne look Alrighty, guys thank you so so much for watching I really really hope that you enjoy um, please let me know which look was your favorite down below if you own anything from Cezanne if you like that outfit or excuse me if you like that brand um, and maybe if you'll be trying to achieve that look with things that you already have in your closet now that you kind of have a short guide to it. And what are you excited for uh, to wear this fall? That's an interesting question. Um, so yeah, I will be back soon. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw, have something to say, or would just like to keep up with the rest of the fashion videos that I'll be posting here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.